And more specifically, we're doing a word stress exercise. So pronunciation has many different elements. One very important thing about pronunciation is word stress, emphasizing the correct syllable, stressing the correct part of the word. It's really important. But before I explain anything, let's just start with the warm up question for the day. So, Jessica, can you try first? Jessica, would you be happy if you lived in a mansion? Um, yeah, I think I think so, because I would have more space and some luxuries. OK, you'd have more space. And yeah. if you had more space, what would you do with that space? Uh, I don't know. Probably I could play some sport. Oh, sports. OK, what kind of sports? Like a tennis court, basketball court, bocce ball? Yeah, volleyball. Volleyball, nice. Yeah. Would you do that on grass or on cement or on sand? Um, I prefer uh, on grass. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Good job using the grammar. And can you repeat your answer one more time? And be sure to use both of these vocabulary words in your answer, please. Uh, yeah, teacher. I'd be happy. I'd be happy if I lived in a mansion because I have I would have more space and some luxuries. Great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good job, Jessica. And now Jawida. Jawida, it's your turn. Would you be happy if you lived in a mansion? In my opinion, I don't think I'd be happy if I lived in a mansion uh, because I think a big house is just for spend a lot of money. Oh, okay. Yes. Did you hear that as well? Yes. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that, but I'm gonna try to cancel that after class. But anyways, a brief explanation about word stress. So we're talking about which syllable to emphasize. So we emphasize a syllable in a word. And for example, happy. Happy has two syllables, happy. And we emphasize the first syllable. You stress the first syllable. And this is really important because if you stress the wrong part of the word, it'll be very difficult to understand you. So listen, happy, happy, not happy. Happy. If you say, I am happy, nobody will understand that because you're emphasizing the wrong part of the word. If you say, I'm happy, everybody will understand you because you put the stress on the right part of the word. So if you're confused about the rules, you can go back to my first video on word stress. It's on my YouTube channel and it's in my digital classroom. Just watch the video because I review the rules. For me, it's a little bit easier just to listen and practice a lot. So I kind of prefer to do that. Um, let's do one more practice activity today. And I'm going to give you two minutes, two minutes to try by yourself. 
and it's a very basic activity. All you need to do is read the word and underline the stressed syllable. So just like this example with happy, you'll say each word to yourself and then think which syllable is stressed. And then you'll underline the syllable just like I did here. So I'll give you two minutes to try by yourself. Say the word, think, try to identify the correct syllable. If you have pencil and paper, please write it down. If not, just think about it. So here are your words. There are 10 words. I'm going to give you two minutes exactly. I'm going to time it on my timer. So only two minutes silence by yourself. Try to think about which syllable should be stressed. At the end of the two minutes, I'll say stop. I will read each word to you properly and then we'll get the answers as a class. So it's pretty simple. If you have, I don't think there's any questions. I'll give you two minutes, only two minutes. Read each word, think about which syllable is stressed and underline that syllable. In two minutes, we can do the activity together as a class, but I want you to try by yourself first. Okay, so here we go. Ready, set, whoopsies. Go, two minutes, less than two minutes. All right, so two words here. Defeat, defeat, defeat. Which syllable did I emphasize? We have two syllables here. Which one did I emphasize? Jawida? I'm sorry, I think the second the syllable, P. Correct. Correct, feet, yeah, exactly. Feet. Defeat. Yeah. Perfect. And the second word is denounce. Denounce. David, do you know which syllable I stressed? Denounce. Second syllable. Denounce. Correct. That is totally correct. So denounce. Perfect. Uh, so did you notice that I, if you stress the first syllable, it's going to sound really weird to people who speak English. Defeat. I'm going to defeat the team. It's not defeat. It's defeat. It's not denounce. It's denounce. So it's really important to stress the correct syllable. Letter B. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the nouns, uh, uh, this word has three syllables? No. Denounce. Okay. Okay. Yes. Nouns. Good question. Good question. Next one. Cheerful. Cheerful. How about Jessica? Cheerful. Oh, I think it's chair. Correct. Yes. Very good. We have two syllables. And in this one, we emphasize the first syllable. Cheerful. This is a stronger syllable when you say it. Cheerful. Great. And the next word. Hyper. Hyper. How about Jorge? Which syllable did I emphasize? Hyper. Hyper, uh, the first syllable? Absolutely, yes. Very good, very good. Hyper, perfect. Gigantic, letter C. Gigantic, how, which syllable did I emphasize? Gigantic. T. 
Antique. Try again. Antique. Gigantic. Gigantic. Well, it's the second syllable. This word has three syllables. Gigantic, okay. right? Three syllables. Yeah. And I emphasize the second syllable. Gigantic. Can I hear you say that, Hawo? Gigantic. Gigantic. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Very nice. It has three, it has three syllables. Correct. It does. Yes, it does. Okay. Next word. Enormous. Enormous. How about Jawida? Enormous. Which syllable got stressed? The second syllable. No. Yeah. Enormous. Can I hear you say that? Enormous. Yes, very good, yeah. So really emphasize and exaggerate the stress on the correct syllable. This is a very small detail, but it is very, 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 very important for your spoken, your, your speaking, your spoken communication. Very important. Okay, we're getting into the hardest ones. Physiology. Physiology. Daniela, do you want to try this one? Which, uh, which syllable was stressed? Physiology. I think it's a second. Physiology. Does someone want to help Daniela? This is a hard one. Maybe O, physiology. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's actually yeah. the third syllable gets the stress. Uh, yeah. So, so this is a four syllable word, physiology. It's oh, five syllable word. Whoa. Whoa, Jonathan. Physiology. And it's the third from the end. Physiology. Wow. Wow. It's a These long word. It's a long word. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Next one. Can it's these stress in the long vowel? Excuse a -A. me. Long vowel. A A. Yes. Yes. And the next one. Kinesiology. Kinesiology. Does anybody know? It's the same about physiology. Oh. Yes. Kin kinesiology. It's the fourth, I think. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. The third from the end. Third syllable from the end. Okay, almost done. Letter E. Construction. 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 David? Con in track construction, the second syllable. Yes. Track. Very good. Very good. And maybe Cassia. Cassia, you can try the last one, Cassia. Incision. Incision. I think in the sec, just see. Yeah, very good. The second syllable, incision. Perfect. So I'm not going to explain every rule because I already have a video and a class about that. But look at the patterns. Do you notice how these words, it's the same syllable that gets stressed every time? We're following a pattern here. So one very good way to practice this is simply you can listen to something in English and then pause it and try to repeat what you heard with exactly the same pronunciation and tone and stress. You can do that. You can also take a video of yourself saying these words 
and listen to it and analyze yourself. People are usually afraid of hearing their own voice. <laughs> People don't like to hear themselves speaking, but it's really good practice. And of course, if you have a private teacher, that's great as well. Or if you have friends who speak that language, but stress is very important. It's something that you're going to do by listening and by speaking and by practicing. But don't be afraid if you're listening to a podcast at home or if you're watching Netflix in English. Like I said, stop what you're listening to and try to copy. Try to say it the exact same way. It's one method that you can do to practice on your own. So are there any questions about today's lesson? Everyone's so silent, of course, when you ask a question to the group. Well, any questions about English in general or anything in general? Oh, nice. Well, we did have a new student today, Daniela from Brazil. I am so happy that you came, Daniela. We have a very diverse class. We have students from Mexico. We have students from Algeria. We have students from Somalia. We have students from Brazil. We have students from Mexico who live in Argentina. We have students from Colombia and even more countries. So it's great to see so many people from so many parts of the world different languages, different religions, different cultures. That's fantastic. I'm happy that we can all come together with the common purpose of studying and learning English together. And oh yeah, don't forget. Don't forget about my study plan. It's 10 minutes a day, three days per week. You need to study minimum that amount. If you have been studying for 10 minutes a day, three days a week, then you can go to the next level. That's level one. And then level two would be 10 minutes a day, five days per week. So if you can study 10 minutes a day, three days a week for one month straight, you completed level one, then you can go to level two, which is 10 minutes a day, five days a week. So it's a little bit more, but don't forget, it's really important that you practice and you study consistently outside of class. It's amazing that you come to my class. However, you really, really need to study on your own. That is so important. So, all right, everybody, thank you so much for coming. I'm happy to see you all. There will be another video on Monday, same time, and there'll be another class on Tuesday at the same time, same place on Zoom. So thank you everybody for coming and have a great day. Thank you, take care, sir. Thank you, Charles. Thank you. Thanks Thank everybody. You. Bye -bye. If you have Thank any you. questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I'll put this class